So we're just trying to find the cable car for sunset, which is in 16 minutes. And we don't know where we're going. Mind blown. But partly because I've got a really bad neck. And I've just taken some medication that's local. And I think it's got ketamine in it. <laughs> no, no, should we just use, use the bread? No. No? Okay. I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby night. We're traveling the world. But we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be traveling a month. And coming back to the UK and working a month. So we're going to be traveling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with a toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. This is a symbol of the end of the aqueducts, which brought all the water into Old Dubrovnik. The aqueducts were actually 12 kilometers long, which is massive. Each of the 16 sides has a different face, and you can actually fill your water bottles up here and drink from it. Fire! Oh, fire, yeah. Where the this huge wall here is part of the monastery complex which was built in the 1300s. Now inside there's a museum and one of the oldest pharmacies in the world. Nah, I'll be doing that one. This little step, the legend is, if you can step on it, take your top off, Put your top back on, make a wish, then the wish will come true. Go on then, get on. <laughs> That's only for our OnlyFans page. Please click the link in the description. There's actually been quite a few disasters here that have taken down different buildings at different times. So when you walk round, you'll see the buildings have been rebuilt at different times, so they're slightly different. There was a fire in the 1200s. The Great Earthquake in 1667, and then the World Wars, and then the 1991 war, and it all took its toll here. This road connects the East Gate to the West Gate, and this was actually a canal at one point, which they built in. There's still a thousand people that live here and live regular lives. This is their actual place of living. We are in Legia Square. Yeah, we're going to go walk it in a minute, and this is one of if not the most famous monument here it was originally built in the 1400s and then after the earthquake it started leaning so much so that in 1929 they actually had to knock it down and rebuild it how an order you mean? so right at the top there's two human figurines holding hammers that just hit the bell every hour and as you come down you'll notice there's the clock there and it only has an hour hand they love a weird clock here. Come down again and you'll see there's like a gold ball and that is the moon phase. So for hippies like me, love that. And if you come down again, you've got a Roman numeral digital clock. Richard the Lionheart, which was our king in England like a long time ago, was on his crusades in 1192. He was actually shipwrecked on Lockram Island, which is the island you can see like just off the coast. He wanted to build a cathedral on the island. And after speaking with the noblemen of Dubrovnik, they suggested to actually build it inside of the walls because it would last longer. Thus, the cathedral. Unfortunately, like a lot of other things, this was also destroyed in 1667. So this is a different one that was put in its place in the 1700s. And it's a Sunday today, so they're actually having a service in there right now. Oh, do you want to pronounce his name? Marindrzik. Well, that's perfect. Thanks. Well done. And what was he famous for, Mark? Um. He was the Shakespeare. He was the Shakespeare. Of Dubrovnik. Of Dubrovnik. And, and, he had an unusual nose. And what do they do here on this statue? Well, like other famous statues of Croatia. They love a good rub in, don't they? love they? a good rub. So you rub it for good luck. Which is why it's very shiny. This is Rector's place. You see, Mama, you see. Yeah. Funny enough, it was named after a man called Rector. <laughs> he was only statesman for one month, and during that time he actually wasn't ever allowed to leave there. So he was basically like a prisoner 
in his own place. And in there is actually the original keys to the city gate. Along its time, it's been quite a lot of things. It's been a prison, not just for Rector, and it's been a library. This, if you think we're bad parents, this is a godsend for travelling. And this one is a biggie. What do crocodiles do? I'm ready to walk two miles. So? We were given a tip that you should walk the walls past four o'clock because in the heat it is mental. Yeah, it's only half three. It's only half three. So we're on the hunt for this place called Boozer Bar. It's pronounced Boozer Bar over here. It means hole in the wall. It means hole in the wall. It's on the south side, the wall that faces the island. That's the information I've been given. And Lawrence is out of breath and we've just walked six steps, so it's boding well. <laughs> we can it's do it. It's fat shame in me. It's not fat shame. They're very steep, aren't they? Left. Which way do you think? Yeah. Which way now? Left. This way? South. This way? Sure. Or this way? Which way? South. Okay. My eyes, which way? South. Up this way? Okay. So can you say 7,000 steps? Seven. Seven. Steps. We found it. <laughs> this is like the first bit of wheelchair access <laughs> that we've seen. And it's. I wouldn't trust it. Okay, so this is it. Literally a hole in the wall. <laughs> So if anyone is a massive Game of Thrones um, fan, like me, because I've watched one episode, Lawrence loves it. Apparently this, something famous. They do a, some sort of walk of shame. This is it. These walls were built in 900 and to this day they've never been breached. I'm about to breach them though because I'm very hot and I need, <laughs> need to get off. This is St Lawrence Fortress. For all you history buffs, this was built in the 11th century and I only know that because Lawrence told me. <laughs> and I only know that because I read it on Wikipedia. <laughs> so the Venetians planned to build a fortress on that bit of land so they could take control of the city. But someone had a big mouth and the locals caught wind of what was going to happen and, and they built one first. So the interesting thing about this is that the walls that are exposed to the sea are 12 metres thick. But this side is only 2 feet thick. And that's because if the Venetians did take the fort over, then the locals from this side could easily destroy the fort. I mean, 
this knowledge, I don't know where it's coming from, to be honest. I need to uh, get myself on, what's that program? University Challenge. Every time he falls asleep, and we're sitting somewhere, there's like a bell, symphony, band, a fucking mari mariachi band will come steaming through the square. Uh, and still go. <laughs> so, we've got to go home, we've got to get changed get ready because we're sweaty as from the wall. I'm back, find the cable car and be on the cable car for sunset and hope that there's a reservation available in the restaurant at the time because we didn't book, obviously. So we're just trying to find the cable car to get up there for sunset which is in 16 minutes and we don't know where we're going. So the tickets to get up there are about £20 each and kids go free if they're under four and I think four to twelve is a thirty kuna. So we made it here for sunset, I think, just about by the skin of our teeth. Let's see what it's going to be like. And they rotate around. Yeah. yeah. taken some medication that's local and I think it's got ketamine in it. <laughs> this is Panorama restaurant and this is the restaurant that's at the top of the cable car. So they have the inside bit. We managed to walk in and just get a table. Luckily we've got the last table picture by the windows. Um, but there's an area outside which apparently you have to book quite a few days in advance. Um, so if you want to come and eat up here maybe reserve it. The views are absolutely in Insane. Really, really amazing. And I feel like as it gets darker, you're going to see all the changes of the town and it lights up. It's going to be really beautiful. Oh,
Join Nanas. Join Nanas. Mmm. Now, let's just use, use the bread. No. No? Okay. So the cable cars up here run from 9 o'clock in the morning until midnight. So our dinners were 178 kuna to be precise each. So what was that? It's about 20 pounds. So obviously you are paying a bit more up here than down there. To be honest, it's quite expensive down in Dubrovnik anyway. So at least you're paying for the view.